Whatever car come next, gonna come next. But beside the point, I'm laying down chilling, and if I seen a TikTok talking about some Quan scam, let me we we I'm gonna pull it up. I'm, I'm gonna pull it up. Hold on, good boy. I, I got up and put some clothes on. I made a new. I made a TikTok about that. Got me up. Just be hang for nothing. Like why is you hang? I don't do to nobody. Like I just be, I be having fun with my girlfriend. Anyway. I bet. Look, let me uh hold on y'all. Cozy for L. Boom! Alright, look y'all, look y'all, look y'all, look y'all. Desktop. So I'm on TikTok and this I made a TikTok on my second page about it, cause y'all know I don't share a lot on my main page. I just be doing fits and shit. on my second TikTok. I don't so this right here, let's watch this form. This guy let's watch this. Turn y'all audio up. Watch this. Put his full mode screen. How does this guy have a platform? Because I work my ass off. How I got a platform? What the? I've been on YouTube since I was in high school. I'm 21 now. All right, we're gonna keep watching. Is the lowest of the low. Like I actually hate this. Everybody's heard about. He said he hate me. You don't know me, and if I see you, I slap at you. Look at, look at, bro. Look, look at, look right here, y'all. It says Saint Potential. I don't have a brand name, say potential, my What? I'm tired of this. They're doing what I'm sick of. I'm, I'm sick of that Quan hate, bro. JB ain't no Quan for nothing. I don't do nobody. So I'm finna start popping my on these. You gonna slap you right. I don't condone that violence. I'm a I'm sorry about that. But all right, let's get back to it. What about the Atlanta money glitch and how like this drive around like three Hellcats and live in a penthouse? I'm gonna Atlanta money glitch, three Hellcats, blah, blah, blah. You just using TikTok lingo, my be serious with yourself. To tell you a little bit about the Atlanta money glitch, how these motherfuckers make millions, and how I was a victim to this guy's scams, bro. This guy is a cor He was a victim to my scams. Y'all heard that? My? I don't scam. Let's keep watching. To this guy's scams, bro. This guy has a quarter million followers. Bitch, where do you see a quarter million? That's says 700,000. What the? F do y'all know what a quarter million is? Nigga, that's 250,000. A quarter million is 250,000. Yo, dumb man need to go back to school. I, what the f <laughs> Let's keep watching. Followers on Instagram, and it's not even his biggest platform. A million followers on Instagram. This guy scams, bro. This guy has a quarter million followers on Instagram, and it's not even his biggest platform. He has another half. I think my Instagram is my biggest platform. I think. I'm not sure. It might be TikTok. I don't know. On YouTube, like, how does this guy get away with doing this? Don't. Get away with doing what? Vlogging my life, my nigga? Ignore this nigga? Nah, bro. I would literally land down and join myself, and I see this shit. And there's people in the comments talking about some. Yeah, um, da, 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 da. how did he get where he's at? I've been working my ass off since I was a young nigga. I don't give a nobody said. I'm I, I responded. This is one probably one of the only shit I'm gonna ever respond to, but I'm gonna let it play. You know what the Atlanta money glitch is and what this guy actually does. Him and most of his buddies have clothing brands of their own and they plug each other's shit. The business model is they sell the clothes on their website, but here's the catch. They never ship it out. Cozy orders been shipped out. My boy JT, one V-Long, he shipped his shit out. Who up? Nobody else really got a brand. Eliante, he ship his shit out. V ship his shit out. What the f What the f These are the shoes I ordered. I saw- When did I drop these shoes, my nigga? What the f <laughs> Bro, 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 bro. I never- I don't- I don't- I don't- I don't- I don't- <laughs> What the f I never dropped shoes. I never dropped shoes in my life. I promoted them. And I will never do business with them again because I see they're not shipping shit out. But when the f Quan ever dropped shoes, my when the weak ass shoes is right here too. The shoes is here, my nigga. I got paid six racks to promote the shoes. I don't care about the shoes, my nigga. I promoted them. I thought they was good business. They not good business, obviously. The shit they not good. Don't shop with them niggas. If you, the video still up on my TikTok because if you go on my TikTok and you click the product, it's no longer there. So, it, it, I'm not erasing the video. Anyways, what the? F what? The f <laughs> it ain't my fault. I got paid for a promo. I never seen no bad blood between with the nigga shit I promoted. So I'm like, okay, cool, I'm gonna promote it. And then he obviously didn't. Uh, I guess he didn't ship his shit out. So I'm not working with the nigga never again. He can never get a quad promo in his life, my nigga. All right, we're gonna keep watching saw an ad on it on Instagram. Time it took. Quan, you can't be mad for niggas saying you're a scammer when you promote fraudulent business. 
If somebody hits me up for a promo that I've never spoke with in my life, never did business with him, I've never did business with before, nothing. And I don't know their business. I see that they shit good on Instagram. I see that shit good and I promote it. And then after I promote it, they don't ship the shit out. That ain't my fault. That's not my fault. The shit, you know what I'm saying? I did. Nigga, everything checked out was good. What the Y'all nigga tighten up, man. There's a lot of, man. hey, I'm gonna be quiet. Thank you, watch. For me to go from like the story to the checkout was like legit 30 seconds. Saw the shoes and I was like, who just subscribed? Appreciate the subscribe, Gango. Immediately caught them. Did not see that this had only one star review. You only get this after you finish paying and you finish the order. So this is like the confirmation. Bought these shoes over three weeks ago. Bro, obviously, I haven't received the shoes. They marked it as the. Don't shop with same potential. I did my research. Let me let me put y'all on game, right? This brand that I promoted, I actually know the nigga. If y'all know, I charge, well, at the time I was charging 7.5K for promos. I gave him $1,000 off a of promo because I know the nigga. He creative directed Yale Yard's video shoot. The first video shoot for Yale Yard, the nigga that owns his brand curated the whole video. I know the nigga. So if I know a nigga and he do good business with us, why the f I gonna think, oh, he already scamming me? I don't know this, my nigga. After this, you know what I'm saying? After all this, now it's coming back on me. What the? How? I don't sell shoes, my nigga. What the? This same nigga was the create. He was the creative director for Yale Yard. I'm talking about was. You know what I'm saying? Most of y'all niggas follow up for that 750 cash app shit. Exactly, my nigga. When have I ever did some shit like that? What the we gonna keep watching. Delivered. What the? Some of the super nice reviews that people have left, uh, never received an item. Funny thing is, right after I ordered, I actually went to look at their Instagram and I saw this and I know him and I've been known. You don't know me and I don't know you. So what are you talking about? What is this talking about? I don't know you. And this is not my brand. It was a promo I did. I see they bad minutes. I'm never doing it again. These niggas is weird. <laughs> you got to cut them off. I don't, but I don't. Look, oh, this is just crazy, bro. This is insane. I don't, I don't do business with a nigga no more. Obviously, after this, but for other reasons too. After the fat lot, like, it went never. You know what I'm saying? None. But of course, now I don't. I'm not never doing business with a nigga before. Come on now, we are gonna keep watching. He does like this. Is he is very well known in the clothing brand space for being a scammer. Anyway, he's very well known in the clothing space for being a scammer. All my cozy orders been shipped out. Yeah, it took time, but I explained everything I had to. All my shit good. Wrong with this nigga. <laughs> Wait, long story short, bro, this guy and everybody that he is affiliated with scam. Do your research. This nigga is upset because he I ain't I don't even, I ain't even gonna get into that. Niggas just trying to tarnish Quan name like Quan just this bad person. Hating on Quan is a trend, my nigga. This shit is crazy. It's all y'all go in any tits out with Quan is oh bro was rich. He always been rich. Uh what they be saying? He's a scammer. He made the ATL money glitch. How he, um, that's how we get all this. Uh, he shouldn't be where he's at. Like, what the? What? During Black History Month? Like, this is weird, my nigga. <laughs> it's a trend for sure. Just like how niggas hating on Lil Baby. They saying Lil Baby about to fall off. It's a trend, my nigga. Hating is a trend. Hold on, y'all. Kai calling me. Hello? I don't bet. But yeah. Hating is a trend, y'all. It is a trend. Let me get it off my screen. Get back to the camera. How you work this shit? That shit is crazy, though. Literally, that shit is crazy. I went to a car meet the other night, and when I went there, like, I begin love and support. It don't never be no weird energy in person, y'all. It's always be like, um, just let me tell you what this dude told me while I was at a car meet. He walked up to me, we were talking, woo -woo. he was like, yo, what's up, Quan? Woo -woo. We was chatting it up. I forgot what we was chatting it up about. We was talking, da da da, blah blah blah. Then he was like, "Um, bro, I didn't know you was like this." I'm like, "What you talking about?" Like, y'all know how I am. I just be like real mellow. I just be chilling. He like, "Bro, I didn't know you was like this." I was like, "What you talking about?" He was like, "I thought you would be like egotistical or something. Like, you just real chill." I'm like, "We all the same, nigga. We human. What the fuck? I'm not finna. You know what I'm saying?" It, bro, people don't understand. People that hate, how can you hate on somebody you don't know? Y'all just see the internet and run with it. JB, around, quit around. Like literally, it's crazy. Y'all be y'all be around for fun, for free. Stop around.
Rate Aspen 1 through 10. Aspen was a 10. I love that shit. New video tomorrow. You seen Aiden situation? Yeah. I hate you to take pictures of you at a car meet we met before. Think you had bougie because of the internet. Exactly. Like, bro, I just be chilling, bro. I just be, I love cars. I love clothes. I love my girl. That's it. I just be chilling. Like, working and chilling. Vlogging my life and chilling. Niggas just be hanging for nothing. Literally. Like, hating. I don't give a how big I get. I will, I will remain the same cool ass. Anybody want a picture, we can take a picture. Like, it's nothing, bro. Like, I, I, I support people who support me. Simple. Simple as that. I met you at Clark, you cool. That's what I'm saying. Twin, like, don't know. They be hating on niggas. They don't know. How you don't know me, but you hang? When you done it and back to the black community, bro, it's been countless times where I gave back to the homeless and didn't vlog. I don't, like, I don't do like that. I go, bro, I literally told the bros, look, this day, this day, we're finna go get back. No cameras. Cause like, bro, you put shit on YouTube, like, you're asking for attention. My we all, me and all the bros done went out and gave back to the people multiple times. I'm talking about multiple times without a camera in sight. You kept, I swear to God, it was some supporters out there, my Supporters was like, like y'all really cool as hell, like, like on some real, right down by the courthouse in Atlanta, my I swear to God. <laughs> bro, it's like, all this ain't meant for the camera. Literally. We need a documentary. And it's so crazy, y'all, because the same brand I promoted with these shoes that got me in this whole. We was finna film a documentary of my life of how I came up, bro. The same nigga, but I'm not doing that no more. The nigga do bad business. Why do I work with you if you do bad business? That should have come when it comes. Simple as that. Like, we, he was dead telling me, like, I want to make a documentary on you. We're we, we going to do this. We're going to do that. I was like, okay, cool. It's going to come. We're going we gonna, to gonna set the time up this summer. We're going to do it. And now, he on this. I'm good. I don't want to do no business with you, sir.